So how you balance in school and and tour and the shows is it, it you have to look at your diary and think, okay, I'm gonna sign it so I can't perform. <laughs> oh. I, I do do that. I <laughs> I tell people if you need me to to be somewhere on a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, I can't do it. Anything <laughs> after that, I'm available unless I have an exam coming up. Wow. So it's it's hard because I wear it's, you know, I wear a few different hats right now. Yeah. It's like, you know, the purse, the girl I am when I'm at home with my cat and, <laughs> <laughs> and going to school, they're all different people. Yeah. They're all different people. The girl that's um, on stage is a different person. Um, yeah. In class, in class, um, m- my classmates don't even know who I am okay. I mean granted at some point they're gonna the the jig is gonna be up because <laughs> someone's gonna find something yeah. but I even go by a different name at school what <laughs> it's I'm telling you I have so I I have multiple personalities <laughs> probably not good for my mental health but <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, well, you, 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 you're an entertainer. Normally, entertainers have stage names, and then they, you know, That's not true. many entertainers had their first and last name as their full or their real government name. Everyone, <laughs> you know. absolutely. So I just wear all these different. Yeah, I'm all these different people, and um, in the be in at first, it was it was hard to to really balance i was like i don't know if i can do this and i was saying it all the time i was even saying it after the holiday i was just like i don't know how i'm doing any of this and you know i think if i you know don't overthink it too much it's it's fine like yeah figure it out how is it like getting the response the the response though people you're on stage and singing after you know, goes to twenty years, people are still connected to the song. Did, did, that, how does that feel as a just you know, after all we've gone through, you're singing and people are connecting to it and singing along with you. What does that feel like? It feels like um, I was always it, like I'm doing what I was supposed to be doing. I was born to do what you know to to be a performer to be a singer um because if it if i if if i wasn't supposed to have made those choices get on you know be lucky or i don't like using the word lucky because i don't think i don't really believe in luck but be blessed enough to to be on star search to Mm -hmm. make the album i made to meet the people I've met, to you know, interact with so many really cool people, and um, to create these songs. Like I didn't know that I that I would write a song like "Tender Kisses" as a teenager, and for it to still be a song that people still, you know, resonates with people, or they still love, and they still say, "Girl, you know, your music is on my playlist still." <laughs> yeah. And then now I have a whole new generation who have discovered me um, because of Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Who were like, oh my God, I didn't know who you were. Like, <laughs> you know, I thought you were a new singer. Like, I don't know. <laughs> they're like, listen to my music. And it's, no, it's it's amazing. It is such a blessing. I'm truly grateful. I, I do not take any of it for granted. I think it's amazing. I mean, the golden question is always, would you ever come out with anything new? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So that's that's definitely something um, I will be uh, working on. It's, I think I got to finish school first. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, let's put that away and then I can focus on that because we're also – trying to um work out a tour and a couple of other projects too wow. so i think it's on it's inevitable that you know there will be music yeah um, hopefully in the near future yeah 
Yeah. Well, I actually appreciate the fact that uh, Karsten Soshok uh, reached out to you because he was probably one of my favorite guests I've ever. He's the most amused when he tells his story, um, not trying to be funny, but he was the most hilarious and, and in depth. And so when I said, Oh, I went, and yeah, how was it like working with Tracy? He says, Oh, Tracy, let me get it, get it, get it. I'll get it to do. I was like, Wow, we're not <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, he called me right after and he was like, you have to do this show. And like, I was just like, okay, okay. He said, no, 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 but it'll be one of the best interviews of your life. And yeah, he said he had so much fun talking to you. And I was like, yes, I was like, I just got to figure out when I can do, you know, some things because yeah, I try to not overwhelm myself and try to spread things out right now or strategically do certain things so that I don't get overwhelmed or burn myself out. Like I'm yeah. not going to do that, but yeah, no, he, yeah, he was telling me right away. He like sent me your Instagram and all and I was like, okay. And I was like, wait, I do remember him. I was like, he did hit me before. And then Sean, I remember Shauna talking about you. He's okay. like, you have to do it. You just have to do it. <laughs> and it's like, okay, that's how, you know how he is. He okay. very <laughs> so excited. Uh, I hope it hasn't been too bad today. No, it was great. It okay. was absolutely great. I enjoyed it. So it was great. I always ask all my guests as I end that if you were stuck in a lift and you had to watch your favorite film, what, what's your favorite film? Oh my God. Um, well, well, well. This is tough because. I have a very eclectic, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like all types of movies, but ooh, that's a tough one. It's going to be somewhere between, and this is going to sound so weird, <laughs> and I know it's going to, it's either going to have to be a James Bond film, uh, preferably with Roger Moore. Oh yeah, I love Roger Moore. Love me some Roger Moore. <laughs> or it's gonna be Boogie Nights. Oh goodness, Mark Wilberg. Okay, that's a point for one to last classic movie. Or here's just my third option: Staying Alive, John Travolta. Okay. I, I just watched it four days ago. It is literally something I watch maybe twice a year. So would that be your all-time favorite movie, or which would be your all-time favorite? Stay alive. No. That and Flash Dance are probably my all-time favorite <laughs> movies. <laughs> because watching Flash Dance, um, I felt like I saw myself in her. Mm. Watching her, um, yeah, it, I, and I find it to be even though when you watch it now, you go, "Oh, it's kind of." It was kind of creepy because, you know, the Eight. the guy that she fell in love with was way too old. And she was like 18. I was like, oh, it's kind of parallel to my life because there are lots of old, <laughs> creepy men. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I can with, but it's that same, very similar. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but her just trying to prove to people that she was, you know, she could, you know, she was the best or yeah. she could compete with the best, you know? Yeah. And she came from literally having no training. Mm. And it's not like I went to Juilliard or performing arts schools. I came from a small town in Iowa and I went to a Catholic school. My parents didn't have that much money mm. and they worked really, really hard. And um, I end up getting a record deal with a major label and have seen you know, travel the world and seeing things that most people may never see or get to experience. Yeah. So yeah. maybe that's why I like staying alive and I like flash dance. Flash dance. Well, you just got signed to the label yeah. that had the Beatles, Elvis. So so that's not that's no small feat. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I never participated in that kind of between us or even loving us.
on which I didn't miss you with really the What was it like growing up? It is a fish still making an impact on people. Four houses down. Hell no, I have a crew. I didn't get this one and that one. But that works for me, but just for me, I got that. Oh, I probably gave it. No, no, okay, you're okay. They don't stand with those boys and men in all spirits. Lay it. I mean, I was, I, I love, I love all different jobs.